Hello everyone, Harold back again with another episode of Brace Sports Cards. Thought I'd show some of the stuff I picked up at the local comic shop and off of eBay lately. Uh, one of the first ones to add to my Brady collection is the uh, Field Vision from 2018 Donner Salute. Got to pay 50 cents uh, for this group of cards here, 50 cents a piece. Uh, the Aaron Rodgers Phoenix Prism. I think that was 2019, 2018, that's 2018 as well. I'm not going to get too many Aaron Rodgers Prism cards for 50 cents. A Marvin Harrison from the Generation Excitement, UD3, said 1997. But that was a nice looking card for 50, Hall of Famer. Picked up a Flair Metalized Reggie Miller. Always liked Reggie Miller. Anybody that's not seen the, uh, I believe it was ESPN thirty for thirty on him. It's a really good episode. Alan Iverson, mission accomplished from Fear Flare Force. I think it was two thousand. Yeah, two thousand. It's a nice looking insert of AI. These cards are very affordable for anybody looking to collect AI. Second year Dwayne Wade, Topps Chrome. It's a good looking card. May send it in for grading eventually. Uh, Bowman's Best, Albert Pujols. It's got a nice design on that card. 2012. I don't know if there was an insert or BB22. So I don't know if it came from the Bowman, basic Bowman, or uh, if that was an insert or how they done that. I know they did a Bowman's Best set every year, so not real sure. Got these. These are ones I'll probably get graded. I go ahead and put them into Ultra Pro if I think they should get 9s or 10s easily. But uh, 2013 Prestige, or is that 2015 Prestige or so Wilson franchise favorites. Grabbed a Top Stadium Club. I think that was 1997. It's kind of hard to read that writing. But I thought it was a cool looking insert. They did a refractor variation of this also. But it's Pastor Patrick Ewing and Alonzo Mourning. But it's a pretty cool looking card. Don't know if I'll send this off. The card looks to be perfect condition. Sammy Sosa Gold Stars. Here is a 90 2004. Even got my reading glasses on. I have a tough time reading the back of some of these. Snagged a uh, Leaf Certified. Totally certified. Julio Jones from 2012. He's put together a Hall of Fame career, so. A really cool looking card. Looks to be in perfect condition. I think it should get at least a 9.5, probably a 10 on it. Last one was one. I did not expect to see this in a 50 cent bin, but it's a Frank Thomas. When the collector's choice does the you crash the game cards, and it's actually a win card. And appears to be, I, I think it should get easily a 9, maybe a 9.5 grade. I think one corner is just slightly, slightly off a tad bit there. But really nice looking card. For 50 cents, and I think it's grade worthy. Eh, it's not worth, couldn't pass up on it. Grabbed a Donovan Mitchell got game, the uh, green prism. Oh, from a uh, mosaic. But I think I paid three on that one. I like Mitchell. I think his cards are way underrated. Uh, a few of the others I picked up. Tatis. Prism Scorching. I believe that's the 2020 Prism. I did pay five on that one. Yeah. Grabbed a Don, um, Donovan Mitchell, Scotty Pippen, 95-96 Flare Ultra. Pippen's cards are way underrated for everything he's done in this sport as the years. I pay, I pay three on that one. Did grab the Brady from the Elite Series 2020. Everybody's grabbing the Brady Buccaneer cards now. I want to say I paid five on that one. I noticed this slight issue with it. I forget what it was. I know it's off left to right a little bit. I forget what the issue is. I, I don't think it'll be getting graded. 
uh, grab the cart. I really think uh, these are still undervalued. The Juan Soto Gypsy Queen Chrome card. You only get one per box. You figure there's uh, 320 cards in the set. So the odds of getting any one player are way out there. So for... Uh, I, I want to say I paid five for it. No, three. I paid three on that Soto, which I thought was a steal. Randy Moss rookie. The UD3. Future shot. Nice looking. Paid five for that one. Uh, one per case, I believe these are. It's the Mookie Betts. 2020 Artistic Impressions. I believe those are one a case. Uh, pay five for it. I think that's... Uh, a steal on those cards. Uh, this Griffey here, I, th I think it should get a 10. I looked it over real close. It looks really good. If anything, I might have a slight, slight problem in this corner here. I see just a touch of silver, but it should grade out a 9.95. Nine it's from the 1994 Home Run Kings Flare Ultra. Along with this uh, Eli Manning rookie, pay five for it. I did had zero Eli cards in my collection. Thought it's time I probably should pick one up. He doesn't have the greatest stats in the world, but uh, he'll be a Hall of Famer. Uh, he's got two, two two Super Bowl victories under his wings, so I can't see them not putting him in. Two Brady's here. I paid two and a half on each of them. I believe this is the 2020 Donner's Elite, 2017, numbered out of 99 Brady. In the Michigan, I usually don't pick up their uh, college cards too often, but um, for two and a half dollars, numbered out of 99, I went ahead and grabbed it. The uh, 2019 Leaf Certified Seal of Approval. I was really hoping to get this one graded, but once I looked it over, the uh, front of it has a couple issues on it. Uh, I believe it would probably get an eight, uh, maybe eight and five at best. Uh, another card I thought was a pretty good steal. I picked up a Willie Castro 2020 Diamond Kings auto jersey relic. Only paid three dollars for it. Uh, it's a rookie this year. Had a really good season. Uh, I think he was kind of overshadowed by a few of the others. Plus playing in Detroit, of course, you're not going to get. As much show and tell. Grabbed a Lamar Jackson star status 2020 Elite. Numbered out of 349. I keep forgetting this card was numbered. Only paid $3 for it. Looks to be a fairly clean card. So it'll go off to be graded. Paid 3 on the uh, Justin Herbert. He's had a really good year so far this year. Though he is in his college uniform, but for $3, I don't think you can really pass up too many Herberts right now. Maybe the future. Then a few of the others I picked up <clears throat> was a Kobe White Flux. Kobe was so hot at the beginning of the year, and then he uh, his uh, popularity seemed to wane when, once they came back. And started playing in the bubble, and his cards have really decreased in value. Might be a good time to snag them now. Along with the uh, Luka Doncic Flux. Paid five for this one also. I really like these Flux cards. I think they look really good. I'd like to get a LeBron one to add into the collection. Grabbed a own, own the Game. I think it's 2006. Yeah, Tom Brady. Paid five on that one. It may be future gradable. It does have a mark on the back. Um, be kind of tough to see. There's a mark up here in the back. I think would knock it down. It's a big enough mark. It may knock it down to an eight and a half, probably a nine. The front of the card looks great though. A picked up, paid thirty five on that one. It's a two thousand eight. I think that's inside the sleeve. Two thousand eight Century Legends, numbered out of two fifty. Brady jersey card. Do not have any Brady jerseys in my collection, so I figured it was time to add one. 
Another one I grabbed for five is another one of those 2020 Gypsy Queens uh, chrome versions. This one is the Tatis to go with the Soto. This one looks extremely clean, so it'll be off, off to get graded. More than likely, I'll go to SGC with it because I know P PSA has a lot more guidelines and raised their prices way up there. But this last one I got, I think I found it. I found it on eBay. I think it was a steal. I only paid seven and a half dollars for it, but it's the weekend version with the logo swap on it. And I believe that this version is probably one in several thousands to pull one of these. Uh, the only other one on eBay right now is at a hundred and forty-five dollars. Um, I don't know if it's worth one hundred and forty-five dollars. The Mike Trout's from last year sell at about. 55 to 60 dollar range so that one's probably worth around 30 or so but uh that's all i picked up from the last few weeks uh we'll still have the uh giveaway going remember you'll still uh lucky winner will pick up the 2017 absolute football with my homes rookies floating around you could get one of those the 2013-14 value pack basketball Along with the 2018 Tops Update Jumbo, which we know all the rookies that are located in that. And there's more every year seem to be popping out of that set. But uh, the lucky winner pulled will receive all three packs of cards. So please like, subscribe. You can share the video if you would like. Uh, leave a comment down below. Until uh, next time, I will talk to you later.